I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on the um, on the Vario prop by Ramosa. There's two socket head screws per blade on the hub. You have to be fairly cautious in using these screws because the very nature of socket heads I would suggest tracking down some screws your local bolt shop should be able to either they should stock them or they should be able to order them in for you 1.5 mil hex key okay so always undo these loosen them off in a pattern so it's just it's nice to be able to evenly relieve the pressure off it most important when you're tensioning this top plate down that you do it evenly for two reasons one it gives the entire assembly a chance to evenly torque down down until it's tight Secondly, if there's an issue with anything, if, if it's binding up on one corner, you'll pick it up because you're doing, say, one or two turns alternating each screw. You're going to see it a lot sooner, you're going to feel it a lot sooner. If you just start talking down one corner and the entire plate starts to twist because it's caught on this side, for example, you are likely going to do damage. You're going to have the threads binding up, and I mean, this is some sort of cast alloy I guess so you have to treat the threads with caution it's these are these hubs are so well designed I'm really impressed with them the blades seem to be a fiber type setup the composite um, very similar to the master air screw propellers so they are very rigid but taken to the limit they do snap which is a very handy thing to have appear to be an M2 socket head the screw is removed we'll pop the top off so you can see what's going on inside here so of course this is the three blade the four blades no different I don't know if, how clearly you can see that, but first thing you'll notice, the writing is towards the front, okay, and I'm keeping the front of the hub, the front face of the hub, facing upwards. So that's your base. You'll see the lug on the propeller is sitting inside that flange. What I tend to do you'll see that little lug is flat top and bottom so I sit that in there in in the flange to sit it in there and very gently rotate all it does is squash in a position so you might need to jiggle it a little so you can get it center but more or less slide anyway so and you do that for all three. So you have these blades will be separate. And here we go again. And just insert it so the two flats, or the flat on top. Can you see that flat? You're just going to insert it into, into this gap between the flanges. And then you just rotate it into position. So Get one or two onto the hub, and then you're just going to slide that on onto the center shaft, just like that. I'll do this one while it's in place, just like this. That's it. Okay, just so you can see again, you have that's got the flat, you can see the flat on the lug. So all you're doing is putting it in vertically and rolling it over into place. 
and that's it. So, keeping the assembly flat. This here, and the tool that comes with the kit, the little hex driver, this machine screw is what adjusts your pitch. So, if I remove this assembly again, So you can see what's happening. You'll see this machine screw goes through the top, that's a clearance hole, that's threaded, and it bottoms out in the base. When you turn the screw clockwise, you are lifting the center assembly up which means you're increasing the pitch. Clockwise is increasing the pitch. Anti-clockwise is decreasing the pitch because it's pulling this corner of the propeller downwards. Okay, now everything is fairly tight in there. It isn't, it's not something you can just quickly drop this in and readjust the pitch. You are going to have to back off all the assembly screws so that you can relieve the pressure on this portion of the well actually this entire portion of the propeller to enable it to move if you try and force this without backing these off the adjusting the pitch adjustment screw all you are going to do is end up damaging something you seriously will damage something so I'll put all the blades back in So, just so you can see again, that lug goes in vertically, just so you can get it in there, then you rotate it, and you rotate it until you can seat the, the blade in nice and firm. Hold it in place, same thing again. Rotate it until the blades sit firmly in place. Now we take the top plate and we'll pop that over the top, which most likely will be a little bit of a struggle, but not too much. Main thing is try and go down squarely. That blade I just jiggled and it popped down into place. So you might have something like you can see it's fairly tight fit there, it's closing up. This one here is a fair way up yet, so I'll just put a bit of pressure here. There we go. I just had to twist this a little bit. Okay, now holding it in place, now we're going to check the, um, now we're going to check the pitch. Now I'm just using a piece of wire, unfortunately I've misplaced my um, my little tool that came with the kit, it comes complete with the gauge and everything. So I've just cut a bit of wire, it's not an exact fit but it's close enough for this intent and purpose. Now you'll see Maybe you can see, I'm not sure. Ah, you can see it from there. There's a flat here and a flat here. So you're going to want to fit this over the flats. So holding that hub firmly, and if I roll that over, You can see I'm roughly on average. Let's see if I can get a better focus. Here we go. Okay, because there's a bit wobbly, I've, I've 
got quite quite a amount of movement there so it's not a very good example is it but anyway so I would say in the middle of that movement I would say I'm roughly about 12 inch pitch so when you want to change it so if I want to reduce it so remember reducing is anti-clockwise so that adjusting machine screw is straight in here I'll back it off a little bit trying to keep the hub firm and then just move gently move the blades backs and forwards and I'll back it off just a little bit more and just jiggle the blades a little bit more just to get everything to seat properly there's no worm gears or anything in here so it isn't rocket science and we'll just go a little bit more and now we should see So now we are approximately, uh, that's holding it square, so that's about where it should be, which is roughly about 8, it's roughly about 8 inch pitch now. So that's pretty much it. So then, now everything's tight. You can see there's only a slight gap all the way around so it's all happy if one side was sticking up you have to be careful that if it is a little bit twisted it might be sitting on the edge in the center there on the tube that the adjusting flange sits on and that's it Okay, so now I've just seated them. Again, we'll just check all the gaps. All the gaps are quite fine. That one's a little bit more closed. So I might nip this one down a little bit more. Now you can see that's closed and that was no effort at all no effort if there if you are struggling to get these down then there is something inside something inside is not lined up it isn't seated properly so straight away pull it apart just carefully take the top plate off and have a look inside and just make sure the propeller lugs are inside the flanges the center adjusting assembly is is seated properly and it's you can't really bind because the cylinder that it, that slides on it's yeah, you really can't go wrong. So anyway, I'm just going to nip these up. And that's all I'm doing at the moment. I'm just carefully nipping them up. All the gaps are looking really good now. Comes complete with everything you need. And it also comes with decals. That, my flying friends, is that. Happy flying.